Hello! Welcome to another backstage video. Um, and this is pretty literal backstage <laughs> because um, we're in this studio right now and I am going to be recording live uh, in a few hours. And um, Maui is not allowed in. I'm sorry, Maui. Oh, he's meowing. <laughs> Um, so I have this idea for a, um, themed live stream that I can do more than one time, which is a tingle battle. So I'm pretty much kind of, uh, taking the theme of a boxing match <clears throat> with two con competitors and I'm turning it into an ASMR live stream. So the two competitors are going to be objects. So in this live stream <clears throat> is going to be... Um, a roller, a foam, or what is it? Just a paint roller. That's what I'm going to call it. And then, uh, I don't even know how you say this in English. <laughs> but I'm going to look up the word for this one. Um, and then I have uh, these little signs right over here. It says round one with little glove, boxing gloves. And I'm going to obviously do several rounds. Um, so the first round probably is going to be a um, tapping round. So then the competitors must both get tapped on and uh, the one that sounds the best wins. And it, you can actually vote um, when the first round is, is over. So it's really interactive, which I thought was really cool for a live stream. And so um, when people have been voting for the first round, then the second round comes up, and I think that's going to be a scratching round, probably, that I'm going to scratch on, on both objects. And um, then maybe um, a special skill round. So like three or four rounds that I'm going to think of. And um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be... <laughs> The, the ASMR live stream video. So I hope that you like this Tingle Battle idea. I've been really struggling with live streaming and, and getting my equipment uh, to do what I want it to do um, because <laughs> um, I really want to have high quality um, uh, live stream so that you can also just view it as a normal uh, ASMR video. That, which is wonderful for me and for you because you will have a lot of content which is high quality and for me I don't have to spend hours and hours of editing because it's just perfect the way it is and it just gets um, it, it just it appears on my channel once the the live stream is, is is over so the problem was not my um, camera which is perfect so the Canon is uh, linked with uh, an HDMI cable to my black magic's box and then black magic box is is linked to the laptop which is um kind of working with xsplit which is software to to uh, live stream but then the difficult part comes with my microphones and my audio recorder so i have my two microphones and they are uh linked with um, xlr cables so audio cables uh, into my audio recorder, which is Roland. And then with the Roland, I have a mini USB cable um, linked with a normal USB cable onto the laptop, which I've been doing for uh, several times now when I've been doing live streams. The problem is, is that the, the um, because the Blackmagic box is a different source than the USB, the normal USB, which is linked to my um, audio recorder, is that it's not completely in sync. What you see, my, my lips moving, and what you hear, which is really annoying. I don't like that. Um, so I've been doing everything to try and get it uh, into one source and so that it's completely in sync, which is my ultimate goal. So I have been trying, this is what I've been doing. I've been trying to link my mini USB to a mini USB in the front of my um, like Magic's box because right over there, there's a hole, there is a, a little mini USB 
uh, thingy that I can link it to didn't do anything. So then I had my um, uh, jack uh, linked in or plugged in here with the plug-in mic. Um, and I have been linking that to this XLR uh, connection right over here. Didn't do anything. Then I tried <laughs> to link my mini USB with a mini USB on my camera. I don't know if you can see this, but um, yeah, it has with this is the HDMI mini and this is the uh, mini USB. And I, I thought, you know, if it's linked to the camera, then obviously it's going to be in sync. Didn't do anything. <laughs> so the only way I can get my audio working is if I plug it in directly with the USB into my laptop. Um, so tonight what I'm going to do is I want to keep making content. Uh, tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit with the settings for my live stream. So maybe slow it down so that the quality can be better and maybe then um, the signal for my black magic, which is the what you see and the audio is going to be better. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play with some settings, but if you have the ultimate tip for me if you say oh Isabel I can't believe you didn't do this this is what helps it and this is what's going to make it perfect then please help me please do because I am kind of lost I don't really know what to do you have the black magic box if you are some kind of IT specialist or something you know what to do these are the alternative options for uh, plug-ins for black magic so I've already tried um, this one the XLR and I didn't do anything and I've already played with the settings on my audio recorder didn't do anything um, but yeah if you are some kind of IT specialist and you really know what to do with live streaming and audio external audio and external uh, cameras stuff like that making it run in sync please let me know in the comment section and then I can try but we'll see if maybe it's going to be better tonight um, if I have just been playing with the settings a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit what's going on behind me, or not behind me, but backstage. Um, and I've just made the background black. And I've actually taken the protective little socks that you usually have these things. I've taken them off so that it looks a little bit more rugged. I don't know if you can see, but you can see it. Eh, can you see this? Wait. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is what that looks like. And then what I also did is I, I put this lamp and I shined it directly onto this point right over here in between the two microphones so that it gets really harsh, harsh light, which I think is cool because usually with boxing matches you have really spots, like really, sh um, really bright spots. And it's really dramatic. So that's kind of the effect that, that I was going for. Really simplistic, but um, kind of reminding you of a boxing match. Um, so I'm excited. <laughs> Too bad uh, that the technique is really difficult, but you know what? That's okay. We'll work with it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my um, audio struggles. If you have a solution, definitely let me know. And um, I hope you enjoy the live stream that we're going to do in about uh, like an hour or something. All right. Bye.